This is the jitter test for various digitizers. This is the Lenovo Yoga A7, no, 940. The big all-in-one, ready? Diagonal jitter test, there you go. Slow lines. Uh... All right, so that's the Yoga A940. This is the yoga book, let's see here. All right. It's also AES 2.0, just like the Yoga A940. Okay, diagonal jitter test. Different program, but it should be still indi indicative of how the digitizer is. Okay, let's see. I'm not doing that on purpose. That's just the jitter. So, as you can see, there's a big difference between a940 and the yoga book 2.0 even though same digitizer obviously the grid density is much higher on the a940 you can see lots of jitter now if you go to old emr here this is the, the emr uh on the helix 2 second generation and Okay, I, was, I went a little fast, but you see no jitter there, it's uh, really good. So, EMR is still the best. A940, not that far behind. In fact, I say very close. The yoga book is very jittery. Now, let's take this whole show to the Surface Studio 2. Okay, we'll just do a long form video here. Okay, Surface Studio 2, which I used to think had uh, one of the best grid density of anything, but let's see how it fares. You can already see I already tried it before, so we're going slow. So, you can see that that's not that great actually it's not as good as the A940 uh, and it's better than the yoga book but there it is the, the jitter test oh let's do one more let's go to the Apple stand Let's see, well, okay, this is old school. This is the cheapest thing they make, but it's still got an Apple Pencil here. Uh, which program? S Pen? Is that it? Okay, alright, whatever, dude. Just give me a thing to sketch on. Come on. Alright, so I'm assuming this is a pen? Yeah, we don't have the 11-inch one, just the 12.9. Okay, ready, here we go. Ah, come on. Uh, maybe the pen, well, pen's not charged. No, it's charged. It's not working. Okay, we're going to 